allergy. No. My dad said, you don't need it when you're here. I was like, dad. <laughs> Let me talk to him. <laughs> I need you to talk to him because I'm talk like, you know, you're losing your English. You're talking to me in Tagalog now. And I'm like, keeping up with him. Like, I understand <laughs> what he's saying. But then he's like, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you should have taught me. See? <laughs> It's so <sighs> nice to meet you. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Well, thanks for having me, Kapwa. That means uh, my tribe, my fellow. <laughs> my family. Yes. <laughs> my name is Jay from Jay's Sweet and Sour Life. And I was so excited when I heard that you guys would be cooking, I mean, not just food, but Filipino food. I yeah. mean, and we get to see the the presence of Lola, which I know that not many people really get to see, you know, from our country and our culture. What was it like? I mean, what was it like for you to be a part of this and essentially making history and being a part of this where we are showcasing Filipino pride and culture and everything? You nailed it. Making history. Because mm -hmm. you know what? Us Filipino performers, entertainers, what have you, we were always there from years back. In North America, mm -hmm. our faces were always there. Our voices were always there on vinyl, on CD, now streaming. We were always there. So now having it confirmed, especially with a children's show, Blues Clues mm -hmm. and You, it is so important so important to show that we are there mm -hmm. not just hints of rumors that was lou diamond phillips a filipino but he is it is confirmed and it now it just moves on forward with josh mm -hmm. with lola and with some other characters too mm -hmm. not sure if i'm allowed to say and i won't <laughs> i like it <laughs> I'm excited because you yes. know <laughs> that's amazing. I was so happy when I had even found out that Josh would be um, the host of Blues Clues. I mean, I ran around going, guys, and everybody's thinking, what's wrong with you? Like, you have no clue, <laughs> right? Be represented and you know have everybody see us in this light where we're not. Oh, this is just beaches and everything. This is family life. This is culture. This is how we express how we love each other. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and and the kids, kids all over the world are watching these characters, Josh, Lola, and whoever else representing the Filipino culture. And and you know, kids, they don't kids don't really know what a Filipino is, but what they see is something different. And all these other children of color who's mm. seeing this and saying hey that looks like me too and this could be a first nations child this could be um, an east indian child and 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 it's they they connect and finally they can feel feel us be us and then the future for them is just amazing because of this mm-hmm yeah. And it's exposed in such a fun environment where they're able to explore it in a safe way and, you know, yeah. understand how we function as families. You know, I, 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 so I went to the Philippines to Manila and the first thing, we're going out to eat. We're going here. We're going this. <laughs> we're going that. We're going to go karaoke later. And I'm like, yes. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's us. <laughs> and add to that the odd Filipino Tagalog word and also asl some signing i mean and that's it's it's so yeah it's so inclusive and the manopo you know the hand to the forehead it is just out there for us now it is and i'm so happy we're able to see that through this and with lola oh yes. uh, i wanted to know you know just going back to your history what was the first recipe you ever learned how to make was it with your lola um, first recipe I ever learned was adobo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like the basic, so, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody learns that first. <laughs> That's the first thing we learn. I think I've, all Filipinos learned that the first thing. And yep. I've developed my own, always respecting the basics, right? Pork or chicken, soy sauce, vinegar, lots of garlic, pepper, and bay leaves. Yeah. But then I add a little something now and then. I like my food spicy. And I'm drooling. 
So I add a little hot sauce now and then, and it's it's home. It's cozy home. I wish I can bake. I can't, but I do have my friends who know how to bake, and I just let That's them bake. Them. They, yeah. they know what they're doing. That's why we, we make the adobo. <laughs> exactly. And they, they make, make the, the yeah, yeah, cakes, bibinkas, and saimadas, and just feed mm. me. <laughs> flan. See, flan, I can make in my instant pot now. So I'm like, oh. hello. That's difficult, flan. Instant pot, I'm telling you. Okay. It's a lifesaver. My dad, every time I, the holidays, he leaves here with six mini jars and he comes <laughs> back, Jesse, I have some, some dishes for you. I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> If he could, he would probably live off of it, but he knows he shouldn't be having that much. <laughs> it's rich. It's pretty rich. I know with all the egg yolks, it's such yeah. a richer, more dense one compared to, you know, the Spanish cultures where it's a little thinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we love it, right? <laughs> Food and song and dance and parties. And karaoke. Yes. <laughs> I remember um, one time I walked into my <laughs> my living room we had a big christmas party with the whole pig the whole pig was on the oh, table like the lechon ah, <laughs> why is there a huge pig there <laughs> that's yeah. how we have parties <laughs> that's it lechon the crunchy skin uh, roast pork for, for for your audience it's a huge roast pork mm. head and mm. all with the ears and then my aunts were fighting over who got it <laughs> 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 I was like, now i expect a full pig at every party now. Yes. <laughs> you go along with it with paper roses. Oh my God. The cameo. Yes. yes. The magic mic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I made a dobo as my first recipe, but uh, my, my Tita Jo, she put, um, she's from Southern Islands and she puts a little bit of brown sugar in hers. Yes. Sweeter. A little bit sweeter. Mm. And it's spins that flavor around especially mm. when you put like an extra bay leaf whenever you're being adventurous you're like <laughs> just one more just another one Let's just yeah. see what happens today yes <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow yeah <laughs> <sighs> oh yes i wanted to know mm. blues clues and you is available to watch worldwide even in the philippines what did your family and friends say when you told them you were going to be working on this actually i didn't I didn't. I, I usually when a, when a project is ongoing, I don't say much because one never knows, right? In art industry, sometimes, you know, the whole filming gets done and then sometimes our scenes are cut off. So I don't say anything until it's out there. And even then, I step back a bit and see. When social media started buzzing about the presence of Lola, mm. that's when the family started trickling in and say, is that you? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that's not me. That's my twin. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> so they, they were just freaked out because this is worldwide. This is really worldwide. All kids from all over the place. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. The impact we're making is just phenomenal. Especially the introduction to some of our foods that are, are very well known. Yes. I mean, lumpia is like what <laughs> everybody's favorite snack. Yeah. Lumpia. Do you have lumpia? <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What Dipped in vinegar. Ketchup? Oh, oh you do ketchup? Yeah. I do vinegar. <laughs> My sister got me on the banana ketchup. That's why I'm on oh, that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. So there's lumpia. There's ube cake. Mm -hmm. That's my daughter's favorite. Yes. Hard to make. Very hard to make. You got to yeah. fight with it. <laughs> yeah. Let, let the specialists do that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of cake, I actually, fun fact, my dad in, in Manila and in where he lived at in his neighborhood, his family was the first one to have an oven, the first one to have a TV. My father's from a very older generation from like, you know, the 1950s. Yes. How, did you have an oven growing up? It, it's crazy how it wasn't normal back then. It wasn't like it is now, you know? I think 
Um, I left the Philippines when I was eight years old. I think towards the last few years we had an oven, but before that, I don't quite remember if we had one. But mm -hmm. I remember um, cakes in banana leaves. Mm -hmm. They would be baked, you know, the banana leaves being the container for the batter. Oh, and there the taste just does not compare huh? um and then the charcoal yes. the smokiness uh, oh really sinking like, into it a little bit mm. a little bit of that earthy yeah oh it's my a whole other it's 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 another world it's can, I, I haven't found it here mm. that taste here in, in toronto <sighs> maybe time for me to go hunting <laughs> I mean, you can come, they have some really good spots in LA and they also have some up here in DC. They I heard, yeah. I heard. <laughs> I'm exploring, man. There's so much food around here. Oh yes. Then they have a oh. Filipino bakery now too. Mm. Mm. Yes. Ube cake all day. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so also, Behind the scenes, look, what was it like working with Josh and Blue on the set? And are there any funny bloopers that didn't make it into the to the to the movie? There are bloopers, especially when Blue is in in the same scene as Josh and I, because there is no blue. It's just a green screen behind us, right? Um, there's X marks on the spot. Uh, but these X marks are also green, so it's hard for me to see where blue or magenta or whatever character is going to be. Sometimes I step on them. <laughs> Director says, cut, and we'll take it again. Don't step on blue. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they, they, they put something for me to look at, so my, my eye lines will be there. But then, because there's nothing there, I would tend to wander off and the director was like, Carolyn, blue is over there. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> yep. We got that. And, and Josh is so much fun to work with. I mean, I, I, I'm just a recurring character. I come in and out. I'm not there every day, but Josh is there every day recording, shooting. So he knows all the tricks. And sometimes he's a little sly and, and, and lets the blooper go on and on <laughs> until he says, you just stepped on her. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much fun working with Josh and the whole team. Um, it's a real, there's a real family vibe when I go into the studio. I mean, I walk in and the first thing I hear is Lola's here and everybody's saying, hi, Lola. Such a great vibe in the studio. Aww. I just love hearing that. Like there's Lola here. Cause like, you know, my kids that go around Lola, Lola, Lola when they talk to my dad and yeah. everybody's it's grandpa, their grandpa. grandpa. But, but it's nice to hear others say that. Cause I don't hear it enough, you know? Right. And it's just, Right. Oh, Lola. So I was so happy when I saw that we were going to have a Lola and I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm going to make you food too. It's <laughs> Bibinka. <laughs> Which is like the epicenter of like our culture, right? It's like, you're cold, eat some steak. You're happy, <laughs> drink a coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was in it. You'll be okay. <laughs> you know, just, just, just eat. Life will be good. No, that's exactly what my dad said. I'm like, Dad, I don't feel good. I think I'm sick. Oh, you need some steak. Let me go fry you. Some that's steak. it. <laughs> I need soup. <laughs> What's your yeah. favorite food? What's your favorite Filipino food? Oh my God, my favorite. There's, of course, there's lechon. There's pancit palabok. It's the noodles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's pinak bet. There, it's a um, in, in uh, another dialect, which is um, veg, it's a vegetable dish, a vegetable stew with baguong, which is salt, salty fish paste. Mm -hmm. So good. You no, know, I'm thinking like I can smell it when you're talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and kare kare, the peanut sauce mm -hmm. and beef and vegetables. Uh, uh, heaven. 
Evan, Evan in a bowl. Yes. <laughs> or in the pot if you don't want to wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you scoop up the rice, you scoop up the meat. Yep. <laughs> yep. Straight over the stove. <laughs> Been there, done that, burnt my fingers. That's okay. <laughs> it was worth it. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So we have to wrap. I'm so sorry, but I love talking to you. Thank you so much. Mm. Say hi to the kids. Esun, Ketura, Malik, and Anthony. Say hi to them for me. I will. Okay. Bye. It's so nice to talk to you.